TMNT Iceberg Explained. Oh look, it's another iceberg video. Now, I'm a little late to the party with these, by the way, but that doesn't matter. What matters is me trying to make an iceberg video, and to be honest, I had trouble finding an iceberg that, like, either I'm familiar with or one that has, like, a good video on it already. But I think I found the perfect one, since I'm a huge fan of the Ninja Turtles ever since I was a really young. Like, they're basically one of my favorite comic book characters of all time. And I don't see a good video on it. Okay, maybe one, but like, that's Spanish, you know. Tier 1. For Tier 1, these are like the facts that most people who are familiar with the turtles already know about. So first off, we have the turtles are named after Renaissance painters, which just means that all four of the turtles are named after the famous artists of the Renaissance. You got Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael... Donatello and Michelangelo. Next up is Ninja Turtles 3, which is the third TMNT movie of the 90s and is generally considered a really bad movie. Like, even as a kid, I had all three of the movies, but I still never watched three. I always watched mainly the second one and sometimes the first one. But overall, I'd say the second one was my personal favorite. The last entry on this tier is Batman vs. Ninja Turtles, which was both a comic book and um, an animated movie that came out in 2019. Personally, I think it's a really good movie. Like, the characters are probably at their best in this one. I like Batman. Oh, yeah, yeah. By the way, Batman is also probably my favorite comic book character. So seeing these two characters collab is just perfect for me. Oh, and by the way... This movie still has a 100% review on Rotten Tomatoes. Next up, moving on to tier 2, um, we got Uncle Phil is the Shredder. This refers to the fact that the Shredder from the 80s show was voiced by James Avery, who played Uncle Phil in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Our next entrance is... Damn! Which is a reference to the first movie where Raphael screams out, Damn! And the whole city of New York heard it. <laughs> Honestly, that's just like a normal thing for New Yorkers at this point. Just hearing a turtle say damn. <laughs> the last entrance on this tier is Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, which was the UK's original name for the turtles because of the controversy surrounding the name Ninja and the weapons the turtles used. So they had to like censor a bit over there. Fun fact. The intro was heavily edited to replace any mention of the word ninja, and all the scenes where Michelangelo used his nunchaku were removed. Tier 3 Insane in the Membrane is, a, is an episode from the 2003 Ninja Turtle show that was banned because four kids thought it was too graphic in nature. And for a kid's show, like, yeah, this episode is pretty dark. So that's why it was banned and never aired in the US until 2015. A whole nine years after the episode was made. Turtles Forever is one of the animated films that was made as a celebration for the Turtles' 25th anniversary. And and as the plot, three different turtle teams from like... You got three different turtle teams from... Consisting of the original comic, the 80s show, and the 2003 show. Which is when I was born, by the way. And it serves as the finale to the 2003 show. Next up is Pizza's Unhealthy for Turtles. That refers to the fact that, you know, turtles just shouldn't be eating pizza. They shouldn't eat anything that's processed, cooked, high salt, or high sugar. Yes, I copy-pasted that onto the script. <laughs> Usagi Yojimbo is an anthropomorphic rabbit who is a ronin in his series, as it takes place in the Edo period of Japan. And he's a character that's frequently done a few collaborations with the turtles. Well, probably because like both are anthropomorphic creatures based on Japanese warriors. And both came out in the same year, 1984. Moving on to tier 4, we got Rabbids, Playboy, and TMNT Smash Up. Which is a Wii game and the Rabbids were apparently playable. I don't know. I never heard of this game before, so like I won't talk much about it. Next up, 
Oh my god. Next up is the hilarious band Pickle ad that shows Raphael taking his towel off and getting a pickle jar. Like, the most hilarious part about this is, like, when iDubs made a meme about it. Here, just look at it. Mm. Our next entry is coming out of their shells tour, which is something that we do not talk about, alright? Don't. Like, look at this thing. Look at it. We do not mention it, alright? It's like... It's like Voldemort. Do not say its name. TMNT Fast Forward is the sixth season of the 2003 show, which has different designs for the characters. And honestly, I never really watched the season much. I mainly just remember the early seasons because those are the ones that I had on disc growing up. So, like, I just didn't watch this one too much. Alright. We're getting deep into this iceberg and we're starting to get into that shit that no one except for like the hardcore fans know about. And our first entrance is Michael Bay wanted to turn them into aliens. That was Michael Bay's original idea. It was to turn the turtles into aliens for his uh, reboot movie, which just seems like a really bad idea. Like, come on, come on, Michael. And it, it seems like he still left um he still left a lot of alien in their designs. Like if you just look at them like they're not turtles, they're aliens. Come on. They do not look like turtles at all. Venice Demilo was the fifth female turtle that appeared in the strange live action TMNT series. Yeah, this is another one we do not like to talk about. Not not a lot, you know. We wish you a turtle Christmas is... Uh-oh. I thought we weren't going to talk about this. They look like the coming out the turtle shell thing. The tour. Ugh. Like, imagine these designs were used in a horror slasher movie, dude. That'd be even scarier than Michael Myers or Jason. Nostalgia Critic made a video about this, but check it at your own risk. Garfield as the fifth turtle is just a reference to when Garfield and the turtles appeared in a crossover together where Garfield was dressed as a turtle. Now, this is one of the few that... Well, this is one of the few entries that I haven't heard about. Interesting. Tier 6. Now we're almost there. This is the second last tier, and we got TMNT fights Cthulhu, which is just the parts of TMNT where they fight a very Cthulhu-esque creature in the shows and comics. I don't know why Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Like, what does Cthulhu even have to do with the turtles? Anyways, our next one is TMNT was birthed on a napkin, which was when the creators Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird drew the first design of a ninja turtle on a napkin from there they went on to create the huge tmnt franchise cartoon all-stars to the rescue was a 30 minute animated short that had plenty of cartoon characters including the turtles that were used for a special drug abuse prevention tier six we're in the end game now the final tier includes mikey is a stoner which just basically says that Mikey blazes, you know? Because it's obvious that Mikey would smoke hella weed. Like, just look at his personality. The last Ronin is an alternate universe in which all the turtles are dead. Only one survived. Now it's the future where the foot won and the turtles lost. Now, this is a very interesting comic, and I'd suggest giving it a read because it's really good, you know? You can, you can tell it's good because both of the creators were involved with this Raphael becomes the shredder was a point in time in the comics where Raphael took on the shredder outfit to gain an advantage against those who were pursuing him after he was given control of the foot clan but like not too long as splinter and lady shredder eventually took it from him 
Our last entry is Kirby the Lost Turtle, which was originally going to be the fifth turtle instead of that stupid Venus the Milo turtle. Ugh. In the in the in the fourth 90s turtle movie, uh this turtle was sadly scrapped when the fourth movie was also scrapped, you know, the 90s ones. They had three, but they were going to have four, but they canceled it. Kirby was originally going to wear a white black pink or purple bandana doesn't donnie have a purple one anyways he had like a little machete type swords and not much is known about him but what is known is that he was named after a comic book legend jack kirby who is just as if not more influential than stan lee jack kirby is who inspired both kevin eastman and peter lair to become comic book fans and that's it we're done this is the first type of video where I put this much effort and made a script out of it. It was a fun experience, you know, researching all of this and just remembering all this stuff because I am a huge Ninja Turtles fan. I've been one since I was born and I can remember, you know. I grew up in the 2000, yeah, I was born in 2003. That's when, like, the 2003 TV show came out and, uh, like, ever since I can remember, like, I've just been watching ninja turtles like i had the discs i had um like the early seasons on disc and i just watched them over and over and i can't forget like the games the movies all of that other shit like all the turtle shit toys you know i'm just a turtle fan what can i say anyways that's it for my video see ya